Swami Niti Namine Namaste Sarasati Devi Kauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschacha De Satarine Vanchakaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhaevacha Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So we're over, we're overviewing the sixth canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam chapter 1 which is about the life of Ajamila so the chapter began with Maharaj Pariksit concerned about how to save people from going to the hellish planets. So Sukadeva Goswami, first of all, talked about doing good karma, but then that was rejected, that that was not enough to save people from going to hell. Haribo? Haribo? So then Sukadeva Goswami said, suggested the path of knowledge, cultivating knowledge and acting on the platform of knowledge could stop people going to hell. But it, Maharaj Pariksit did not accept that either because he said that benefit is all, also going to be temporary. So the only process by which people can be saved from going to hell is by taking up devotional service. So now Sukadeva Goswami is going to describe a wonderful incident which took place to support this. So this Sukadeva Goswami begins by talking about the life of Ajamil, that he had married, he, he's from a city called Kanyakubja, and he, he was a Brahmin, and, but he married a, a low-class woman. And so by association with the low-class woman, he lost all of his Brahminical qualities. So Srila Prabhupada explains how even today in India there are these different classes of people. 
生帕帕德在在这个要旨里面解释到，即便在今天，在印度也有很多不同阶层的人。And there are a class of women who will be like maids in the house, and they will be used by lusty men to satisfy their sexual desires. 有一有一有一个阶层就是，他们在家里属于女仆，但是呢，有时候。充满色欲的人会利用这种女仆跟他发生性发生性关系。Because these these men know that high class women will not indulge in that kind of in in lusty affairs with unmarried men with men who are not their husbands. Sorry, Gurudev. High class ladies will not have illicit connections with、okay. with men who are not their husbands. 因为一般高阶层的这种女性，她不会和非，就是说不会和不是自己的丈夫的人发生这种非法的性性关系。But for lust, high class men may be in high class families. They may look for these low class women to satisfy their sexual desires. 但是这种上层社会的男性，他如果非常。有色欲的话，他可能会寻找这样的，呃，低阶层的这种女性来满足他的性的欲望。So Ajamila, and when he was a young man, he was a good brahmana, but somehow he got involved with a prostitute lady. Ajamila 是一位非常有资格的婆罗门青年，但是由于某种原因，他和一个妓女产生的联谊。So Sukadeva Goswami is going to give the tell us about the life of Ajamil and how he was saved by the power of chanting the holy name. Yeah, in the Kali Yuga, this is the only process which can save people from all of their sinful reactions. 在卡尼年代，这是唯一能够拯救那些罪恶的人的方法。So this Ajamila, he 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 gave a lot of trouble to others by cheating them, in gambling, and by stealing from them. 这个阿加米阿这个阿加米勒，他做了很多给别人带来打扰的事情。比如说欺骗他人，偷抢劫他人，给别人造成了很多的麻烦。So you can see when people engage in illicit sex with prostitutes, how they become they take in they take up many other sinful habits. 从这里我们可以看出，如果一个人和妓女有非法的性关系，他会变得多么的堕落，造成其他的很多的罪恶行为。嗯。If you associate with women who are chaste and who have some culture, then there will, there will be no illicit sex. But because there's low class people, low class men. And they, they they look for these low class women. These very low class people, they are looking for these low class women. So in Krishna consciousness, it's very important that all the devotees are careful to avoid illicit sex. Krishna consciousness movement is very very important to avoid all the devotees. Because when there's illicit sex, then the other things will also come: meat eating, gambling, intoxication. 只要开始了非法性生活，随之而来的吃肉、赌博、麻醉品都会接踵而至。People may say, "Oh, it's very difficult. I can't control." But if they chant Hare Krishna regularly, and if they're really genuine and sincere. Surrender to Krishna, then they can give it up. People may say, "To control this is very difficult. 
但是如果他唱诵Krishna的声明,如果非常真诚被唱诵Krishna的声明的话,他是有可能放弃这一行进的。But if we, if we allow people to continue to indulge in illicit sex, then there will be more cheating and thieving and, and all bad habits will develop. 如果我们允许非法性生活的这种行为，使它增加的话，那么欺骗、抢劫、偷盗等等这些非常不好的习惯都会增加。So we're told that this Ajamila, that he was engaged in all these sinful activities, and right up in his old age, he was eighty-eight years eighty-eight years old, and he was still doing all these sinful activities. 这个阿加米勒，他从事了很多的罪恶活动，而且一直一直到了八十八岁的时候，还在从事这么多的罪恶活动。And he had ten sons, and the youngest was a little baby named Narayan. 他有十个儿子，最小的那个儿子是一个婴儿，婴儿，他的名字叫Narayan。so because he's the youngest child, so the father and mother were both very attached to the youngest child. So actually Vedic culture is such that one is meant to leave home but before old age. From the age of 50, we are not meant to live at home, we're meant to get out from the house. Especially you're not meant to stay at home in your old age and be having children. So you one's meant to actually go out from the home and go to the holy places or do some austerity. But this Ajamila, because of his bad association, he became very sinful. Even in his household life, he was very sinful. And Ajamila, he enjoyed very much to see the little boy, little baby Narayan. He enjoyed so much to watch the little child, to listen to it, try to speak, and to watch his movements. So Ajamil is he's so old and he's got this young child and it gives him so much pleasure. He feels so look at my little child. So Ajamila, he was always calling the name of his son. He was always calling Narayan, Narayan, where are you? Come, Narayan. So he wasn't, Ajamila wasn't chanting the name of God. He wasn't thinking, I'm chanting the name of the Supreme Lord. But because he was chanting the name, because it was the name of the Lord, he got some benefit from that. And the benefit is he was becoming purified. And he, you know, the old man liked to call the name of his child. He was, he was taking pleasure in calling that name. So that was very good for Ajamila. We know that the old man, he liked to call the name of his child. He was taking pleasure in calling that name. So that was very good for Ajamila. 
，因此他在叫这个小儿子的名字的时候，这个对阿加米德来说是非常好的一件事情。Even today, many people they will give names like this to their children. They will call their children Krishna Das or Govinda Das or Vrindavan Das. Even today, people also give their children names like Krishna Das, Govinda Das, Vrindavan Das. And by calling these names, the people who chant these names are becoming purified. And people who hear these names, they are also becoming purified. So whenever Ajamil would take food, he would call the little child to come and eat with him. And whenever he drank anything, he would have the little child come and also drink with him. So Ajamila, he he didn't understand that his time in the material body was finished and that it's coming close to death. But Ajamila, 浑然不知的是，他物质身体的这个时间已经消磨殆尽，他死亡已经在向他逼近了。And he's still spending his time taking care of the child and calling the name of the child. But somehow or other, he was attached to calling that name Narayan. So he gets a lot. And that's that is called agyata sukriti, means you do pious activities without knowing about it. But because he's chanting the holy name, that was being counted. He was getting the benefit from that. Because he's chanting the holy name, that was being counted. He was getting the benefit from that. But he didn't know. He wasn't thinking like that. So when it came time for this Ajamila to die, he was just he was only thinking about the, the little boy, about little Narain. So somehow the people at the time of leaving the body, if they're able to chant the holy name of the Lord, it's a great benefit for them. So because Ajamila was the son of a Brahmin, he was used to worshiping Narayan when he was a young man, before he became fallen. So although Ajamila was contaminated, he was calling for this his son. And just at the time of death, when he was calling for his son, he remembered how, when he was a young boy, how he used to worship also Lord Narayan. Because when he was young, before he got fall, before he fell down, he used to worship the Narayan Shalagram Shila. So at the time of death, he was remembering what he used to do. So because Ajamila was always chanting the name of his son, and because the name of his son was Narayan, he was actually 
coming, he was on the plant, he was doing bhakti. But he didn't know he was doing bhakti. So although at the time of death he was chanting the name of his son, he, 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 he concentrated his mind upon the holy name of Narayan. So at the time of death he was remembering the Supreme Lord Narayan. So then he saw three of these persons with terrible looking bodies, all twisted and frightening looking, with ropes in their hand. They come to take him to the to the place of Yamaraj. So Ajamila could see them and he became when he saw them he was it made him think of his child because his child was playing nearby, so he began to call out to his for his child. So when a person does sinful activities, they don't usually chant the holy name of the Lord. But this is a very special case because from the very birth of the child, he's been chanting this name of the Lord. So because Ajamila was very sinful, the three men from Yamaloka came to take him to Yamaraj for punishment. So Ajamila chanted the four syllables of the holy name. Narayana. Narayana. Four syllables. Narayana. 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 Narayana, Narayana, four syllables, right? So the Vishnu, because he chanted that the name of Narayan, so the Vishnu Duras also came there. So Ajamila, he never meant to chant the name of God, he just wanted to call his son. So at that time, the order carriers of Vishnu, the Vishnu Dudas, they also came. When they heard the holy name of the Lord, they also came there. Ajamila had called the name of the Lord without any offence. There was no offences in his chanting. But he chanted in anxiety, he was really afraid, so he chanted. So they, the Vishnu Dudas who came there, they didn't consider about why he chanted, they just saw his chanting is sincere. So anybody who chants the Lord's holy name attracts the attention of the Lord's devotees. 
So the Vishnu Durus, they came there to protect Ajamila. Ajamila, he actually, he, 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 he just chanted the holy name. He didn't do anything else to glorify the Lord. He didn't do any worship of the Lord. All he ever did, he just chanted the holy name and he, he, he did it. In, without the intention of chanting the holy name, he did it. So that chanting took away all of his sinful activities, it took away all of his bad karma. So when when the, the Vishnu Dutas heard the name of their master Narayan being chanted, they all came, they came. So Ajamila, he, because of his past, he'd been very fortunate that he'd, he'd been doing devotional service for Narayan. So, when he chanted the holy name at the time of death, he was doing it without offense. So, he was doing pure devotional service. But the Yamaduras, they were getting, they were taking the soul out of the body and they were going to bind them up and take them to Yamaloka. But the Vishnu Duras told them, stop, you cannot do this. Because Ajamila chanted the holy name of the master of the Vishnu Dutas. So, because he chanted the holy name of Narayan, so he was protected. Hmm, they told the Yamadutas, leave him alone, you have no right to take him anywhere. And if you don't stop, then we will take action against you. We will punish you. So the earth, these people from Yamaraj, they only have the right to take sinful people. But the messengers of Lord Vishnu, the Vishnu Dutas, they can punish anyone, even the Yamadutas. Even even if he wrongs, if he does some wrong to a, a devotee, then they can take action against him. So it's clear from this verse that the soul is in the heart of all living entities. 
The, the servants of Yamaraj were trying to take the soul out of the heart of Ajamil. And the super, the super soul was also in the heart. Yeah, like two birds in a tree. So the heart of the body of the living entity is the seat for the for the soul. And the material energy is like a machine. And the driver of the machine is the soul. And this, it's the soul who is actually the, the owner. But, but they also get it that, that whatever the body is actually given by the grace of the Supreme Lord, they are not the actual real proprietor, but they are just given temporary control over the body. But actually the body is given by the grace of the Supreme Lord. When one body is finished, then you get another body. At that time, the soul was taken away by the servants of Yamaraj. And they will arrange the suitable body for the next life. So these servants of Yamaraj, Yam, Lord, Lord Yamaraj is the god of death and he is the son of the sun god. Yamaraj so he's, he's a very powerful person in the universe. And the servants of Yamaraj, when they were forbidden to take the soul out of the body, then they were very surprised that who is stopping us? We are the servants of Yamaraj. What right do you have to challenge the authority of Lord Yamaraj? According to the Yamadudas, Ajamila was actually meant to be taken to Yamaraj. So when they were stopped, when they were told, don't touch him, then they were very surprised because usually nobody would ever interfere. And they were arrested. The Yamaduras are very busy arresting sinful people and taking them for, to hell for punishment before Yamaraj. But nobody had stopped them before. Uh, sorry, who is very busy? The Yamadudas. So the Yamadudas ask to the Vishnu Dudas, he asked them, Who are you? Where, where do you come from? Why are you stopping us doing our duty? Yanu 
你你们是谁？你们是从哪里来？为什么不让我们这么做？ Are you demigods from the heavenly planets? Or maybe you're the best of the. Maybe you're very good devotees. Because we you know pure devotees are very rare. We know pure devotees are very rare. Even for somebody to know that it's not the body, that's very rare. 即便一个人他知道他不是这个躯体，有这么一个觉知的人，这样的人也是非常罕有的。But when, when if somebody understands the soul is a part of the supreme soul, then that is very special. 而如果一个人他知道他是灵魂之外，他还知道他的这个灵魂是至尊灵魂的一部分的话。这样的人是非常特别的。That person, he is able to go to Vaikuntha to live. 这样的人，他能够有资格去到 Vaikuntha。So the Yamadudas, they are the servants of Yamaraj, and Yamaraj is a very great personality. He is very powerful, very pure. Yamaduta, 他是 Yamaraj 的仆人。而 Yamaraj， 他是一位非常伟大的奉献者，非常有力量。He's above all the demigods. He's greater than the demigods. 他在所有的半神人之上，之上，而且他比所有的半神人都伟大。So the, the Yamadutas they want to understand why the Vishnu Dutas had come to protect this sinful man. Yamaduta 非常疑惑。他们想知道为什么威士卢都塔在这个时候出现在这个罪恶的人面前。So at this point, Ajimeo hadn't died yet. 从这一点上来说，阿加米勒在这个时候是没有死的。No, they were the Yamadutas were trying to take the soul out from his body. 因为亚马杜塔他正要从亚马拉吉的心里抓出那个灵魂。But they hadn't been able to do it yet because Ajimeo had not yet died. But Ajimeo was unconscious, and but he could hear the argument between the Yamadutas and the Vishnu Dutas. Yamaduta and Vishnu Dutta 之间的辩论。And this argument would decide who would get the body of Ajamila. 这场辩论将决定谁将会得到阿加米勒的灵魂。So the 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 Yamadutas they're surprised about the beauty of these other people. Yamaduta 非常惊讶于这这几个人他们的身体的美丽。The Yamadutas themselves, they're very horrible, very ugly, frightening. Just see them, people will scream. But these servants of Lord Vishnu, they're very beautiful. Their eyes are like lotus flowers. And they have beautiful helmets on their heads. And they have nice earrings also, and and they're wearing flower garland of lotuses. And they all have four arms. And they're carrying weapons like bows and arrows and swords, clubs. They have four hands. Each hand has a weapon, such as a javelin, a sword, a lotus, and a flower. And they're very effulgent. So the effulgence coming from their bodies makes the place very bright. Their bodies are shining with the light. Their bodies are shining with the light. Their bodies are shining with the light. So they they ask this Yamadu they ask the Vishnu Dutas why are you stopping us? They ask this Yamadu Dutas why are you stopping us? They ask this Yamadu Dutas why are you stopping us? They ask this Yamadu Dutas why are you stopping us? They ask this Yamadu Dutas why are you stopping us? They ask this
So Prabhupada talks how it's important that people recognize the dress and the external appearance of people. Mm. So external appearances, they create a strong impression in people about others. Right, so that the bodily features and the dress, the appearance is very important. So the order carriers of Yamaraj, they had made up, they, they had, they were, they were actually wrong in thinking Ajamila was sinful. Actually, he was sinful throughout his life. He did a lot of sins. But he, but he was purified by chanting the holy name of Narayan. So, we, unless one is a devotee, you cannot understand the activities of another devotee. So, the people of Vaikuntha, they can be recognized by their dress and by their appearance. They have four arms and the arms carry the different weapons of Lord Vishnu. Yeah, they've, got, they've got the same bodily features as Lord Vishnu. But they're always servants. They never think they're the master. They always know they're the servant. They, they know Lord Narayan or Lord Krishna, Lord Vishnu, they, they're the Supreme. But the, these, the devotees, they're self-realized souls. They're, also, they're liberated souls. But they never claim that they're God. Nobody in Vaikuntha Loka will ever claim that they're God. Only the Supreme Lord Himself. So when the when the Yamadutas talk like that to the Vishnu Dutas, the servants of Lord Vishnu they just smiled and then they replied to them. The, the Yamaduras, they were surprised because the Vishnu Duras were so polite, but at the same time they wouldn't let them take Ajamil. So the Vishnu Duras, they're also surprised about the Yama Duras. They're surprised the Yama Duras don't know the principles of religion. 
。维什努都塔觉得诧异的是，这些亚马都塔竟然不知道。So when they heard the Yamadutas speak that Ajimila is sinful, they they thought, "What is this? This is nonsense! What are you speaking?" When Vishnu Dutta 觉得呃听到 Yama 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 Dutta 觉得这个 Ajimila 是一个罪恶的人的时候 ，Vishnu Dutta 说，你们这完全是完全是呃胡说八道的这种行这种行为。Yeah, they should know Ajamila is not somebody to take to Yamaraj to be punished. They should know this Ajamila should not be taken to Yamaraj to be punished. So the Vishnu Dutas, they say to Yama Dutas, that they say, if you are really the servants of Yamaraj, then tell us what is the meaning of religious principles. These Vishnu Dutta 就对 Yama Yama Dutta 说，假如你们真的是 Yama Raj 的仆人，你们就得给我们解释什么是宗教原则的真正含义。And what what are the symptoms of irreligion? 什么是非宗教 ？So this is a very important question. Some everybody should know the answer to this question. 这是非常重要的问题。And、the servants of Yamaraj said they were carrying out the order of Yamaraj. Yamaduta, they thought they were accepting Yamaraj's order. So the Vishnu Dutas, the Vishnu Dutas, are very intelligent. They they said to them, "So if you are really serving Yamaraj, then tell us." What are the symptoms of religion and irreligion? Vishnu Dutta 就显得非常有智慧，他就问：如果你们是 Yama Raj 的仆人的话，那就请你，请你们告诉我，什么是宗教原则，又什么又，这些宗教原则的特征是什么？非宗教原则，非宗教又有哪些特征 ？Somebody who is a devotee will know what is the actual instruction of Krishna. 如果一个人是奉献者的话，他应该知道主 Krishna 的训示到底是什么。Just like in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, "Surrender to me, give up all activities of religion, just surrender to me." 就像在佛家方格中，主 Krishna 说，放弃一切宗教，只是臣服于我。So this is actually the principle of religion. 实际上，这就是宗教的真正的原则。But if somebody surrenders to the material nature instead of to Krishna, that is not good. That is not going to save people from material life. So these people who don't surrender to Krishna, they are sinful rascals. Those who don't surrender to Krishna, they are sinful rascals. They are thinking Krishna just to be an ordinary person. They don't understand Krishna's position. They just think that Krishna is an ordinary person. So somebody who is not surrendered to Krishna, they don't know the real principles of religion. So if somebody represents someone else, they must know the person's mission. And so somebody is representing Yamaraj, they should know Yamaraj's mission. 如果一个人声称自己代表着某个人的话，他必须对这这个代表的这个人物知道他的使命是什么。如果一个人他声称自己是 Yamaraj 阎罗王的使者的话，他也应该知道阎罗王的使命是什么。And the same way, somebody in the Krishna consciousness movement, they should know what is the mission of Lord Chaitanya and Lord Krishna. 如果一个人说自己是一个。If somebody is a say, I'm, if they say I'm a devotee, I'm a Hari Krishna, 
and they don't know the mission of Lord Chaitanya or Lord Krishna, then they must be stupid. If we don't know these things, then it will be very embarrassing and we will be insulted when we go to try and preach. So the, the, the Vishnu Dudas have more, more questions. They want to know what is the pro, how, do, how to punish people. Vishnu Dutta and who, who should be punished? Should all, everybody who is a karma, who is doing things uh, for their own sense gratification, should they all be punished or only some of them? Somebody may have the power, they may have the power that they can punish people. Doesn't mean they should punish everyone. So there's the, the most of the souls are in the spiritual world. They're already perfect, liberated beings. They're in the spiritual world. Only a small portion of souls are in the material world. And most of the forms of life, like there's 8,400,000 8, forms of life, 8 million forms are all lower than human. So these people, then the lower forms of life, they, they cannot be punished. Because they're in the lower forms of life, they're gradually coming to the human form. But human beings who have got consciousness, full, full consciousness, not like the animals and lower, they have to be responsible, but not everybody, not all the humans, only those advanced in knowledge. Only, only those who engage in sinful activities get punished. All right, if people are advanced, if they do pious activities, they don't get punished. So who should be punished and why has Yamaraj, why is Yamaraj saying that you have to punish this Ajamila? How should we judge who is to be punished? So the Vishnu Dutas are asking these questions. So the Yama Dutas reply, they say oh, that everything is according to the Vedas. The Vedas describe what is the process of religion. And the opposite of, the, of that, that is irreligion. The Vedas come from the Supreme Lord Narayan. We heard, we've been told by Yamaraj all this. We 
the Yamadudas, they didn't make up any principles of religion themselves. They would just repeat what they'd heard from their master, Lord Yamaraj. And Yamaraj is one of the twelve Mahajans, one of the twelve authorities on devotional service. So the Yamadudas, they, they gave a good answer. They said, we have heard. They heard from their master. They didn't make it up in their own way. People today are not like this. A lot of people today, they make up their own philosophies. So it's important to hear from the authorities. In the Srimad Bhagavatam it says, the Srimad Bhagavatam rejects all cheating religion. Anything which is not supported by the Vedas, then we will reject it. We just accept what is given by the Supreme Lord. We have to accept the authority of the Supreme Lord. We have to surrender to His authority. So that is Dharma. So Arjuna and the Arjuna was thinking violence was irreligion. He didn't he was confused. So he didn't, he, he didn't want to fight because he thought this is irreligion. But Krishna wanted that Krishna got him to fight, so Arjuna did it because Krishna wanted him to fight. So the order of Krishna is actually Dharma. That's the most important Dharma, the direct order of Krishna. So the real purpose of Vedic knowledge is to know Krishna. Just by knowing Krishna, then we can be liberated from the material world. So we have to know what is Krishna's instruction, what does Krishna want? So actual religion could be understood to be what, the, what is the order of the Vedas. And anything which is not supported by the Vedas, then that is irreligion. So these instructions of the Vedas, they come from the breathing of Lord Narayan. So Lord Narayan's eternal, so his breathing is eternal, and so the Dharma is also eternal. So the words of the Vedas, they come from the mouth of the Supreme Lord. And Lord Vishnu is the origin of all this Vedic knowledge. 
The Vedas only has the instructions of Lord Vishnu. And somebody follows the principles of, a, of, of the Vedas, he's a devotee, he's a Vaishnava. A Vaishnava is not just some member of some sectarian group in the material world. Vaishnava is a real knower of the Vedas. So we have to hear from these Vaishnavas. We have to associate with the Vaishnavas. We have to serve the Vaishnavas. Okay, so we'll stop here. 好, Any questions? Yeah, let me check. Yeah, let's see. Gordon,我有一个小问题。嗯。嗯。如何理解这个呃阿迦米勒他的唱诵是没有冒犯的唱诵的？根据我们学到的，没有冒犯的唱诵的这些，我们如何理解阿迦米勒的唱诵是没有
somehow he get he had the by the grace of the Lord, he gave that name, the holy name of the Lord, to his youngest son. So the youngest son always gets the most affection from the mother and father. So Ajamela was enjoying so much his young son. It was giving him so much pleasure. But Ajamila was not thinking about how close he was to death. So the moment came when he was supposed to he was supposed to die. But he was very, very fortunate that he called for his son, Narayan. We don't know, did he call the, for the son, Narayan, because he thought maybe the son could protect him? I don't think that was the intention because he's only a little child and he, he, could, he could hardly walk, he was just still crawling. But maybe he could understand that he was close to death, so he wanted to see the child before he left the body, because that's people are like that. Before they leave the material body, they like to see their family members. People often, the family members all come and they like to be with the, the, the person before they die, before they leave the world. They will say nice words to, to them before they go. And they may, the father may give final instructions to the children. May, may say, take care of your mother, I'm leaving now, I have to go, you have to take care of the family, take care of my wife, your mother. I'm leaving everything on your behalf. Take care of everyone. Of course, Ajamil didn't have, from what we learned, he, was, he didn't have much property, he didn't have wealth. He was stealing and cheating and lying and doing many things to maintain his family. So it's not like he had a lot of property or a lot of estate to leave for his family. He had nothing. But still, he wanted to see this young, the youngest child was absorbing his mind. So this was to save him. So he, he got the greatest mercy. Although he is very sinful, never did, never did anything pious. 
即便他非常的罪恶，他也没有做很多的，他没有他没有做过虔诚的活动。But by the arrangement of the Lord, he can be delivered. 通过主的安排，他可以得到了拯救。Okay, are there any questions? Yes, this question from Divya Shakti Devadasi. 顶拜姑内，感谢翻译。瓦唐第四篇讲了很多。历史人物有的记不住人名，问题讲这些历史，讲些讲这些历史的作用是什么 ？A basis to two g o o d days. Uh, in the s h r i m a b a g a v a t a n Canto Four, they say a lot about the history. Uh, people, but I can't re remember their names. I want to know. Uh, what? What's the importance for say about this history? History. Well, history, the history, the Puranas, these these scriptures like Srimad Bhagavatam we're reading, it's a Puranas. It's full of history. We're studying this Shen Dian Bo Jiang Wa Tan Purana. 这个历史都是都讲讲述的都是历史。The names are not so important. What's important is the message, the philosophy. 这些人名不是很重要，重要的是这些信息。You should understand the teachings. What message are they giving? 我们得了解到底这个信息给予了我们什么，他们教教导我们是什么。We are reading Srimad Bhagavatam not just to remember the names, but to remember the message, the instruction. We are studying the Srimad Bhagavatam not just to remember the names, but to remember the message, the instruction. We are studying the Srimad Bhagavatam not just to remember the names, but to remember the You will also remember some of the names. 不管怎样，如果你经常总是去聆听的话，你也会记住这记住一些这些名字。Just like what what names have we said today? We've said two names: Ajamila and Narayana. 就像今天我们记住了两个名字 ：Ajamila, Narayana. Oh, we also had the name Yamaraja. 我们还听到了 Yamaraja。And that that three names, right? Three names, is it? The servants of Lord Narayan and the servants of Yamaraj. They were both coming to get Ajamila. Yamaraj, Yenlo Wang's servant, and Narayan's servant, they were both coming to get Ajamila. But the important point is the message, the power of the holy name. 但是最重要的信息，最有力量的信息是关于圣名的力量。This is important parts of history. 这是历史的重要的一部分。We studied history. I studied history. Maybe at school you also studied history. It was all useless. It didn't really give us any real knowledge. We studied history. For example, you also studied history. Maybe at school you also studied history. It was all useless. It didn't really give us any real knowledge. We studied history. For example, you also studied history. Maybe at school you also studied history. It was all useless. It didn't really give us any real knowledge. We studied history. For example, you also studied history. Maybe at school you also studied history. It was all useless. It didn't really give us any real knowledge. We studied history. For example, you also studied history. Maybe at school you also studied history. It was all useless. And one person wants to get a bigger kingdom than another person. We only know from these stories that we have studied. We have studied that one king against another king is fighting. Somebody wants to get bigger power than the other king. Somebody wants to get bigger power than the other king. Somebody wants to get bigger power than the other king. Somebody wants to get bigger power than the other king. Somebody wants to get bigger power than the other king. Somebody wants to get bigger power than the other king. Somebody wants to get bigger power than the other king. Somebody wants to get bigger power than the other king. Somebody wants to get bigger power than the other king. Somebody wants to get bigger power than the other king. Somebody wants to get bigger power than the other king. Somebody wants to get bigger power than the other king. Somebody wants to get bigger power than the other king. Somebody wants to get bigger power than the other king. Somebody wants to get bigger power than the other king. Somebody wants to get bigger power than the other king. But it's all temporary in this world. 
，但是对于这个，但是这些都是很短暂的，对于这个世界来说。We cannot live here forever. We're all going to live one day. 我们不可能在这个世界上永恒的生存着，我们有一天就是会离开这个世界。And we leave one body, we have to take another body. 我们离开这个躯体，然后我们又得到另外一个躯体。So we are thinking about this problem. 我们在思考的是这个问题。We're not just thinking about some temporary solution to economic development. 我们不应该只是思考那些短暂的解决问题的方法。We want, we want to, people want materialist people. They want more higher standard of living. They want more sense gratification. 这些物质主义者，他们想的是更高标准的享受，更高标准的感官享乐。这些都是短暂的。But this is just coming due to the false ego. 而这一些想法的缘缘由是因为假我。False ego means forgetfulness of Krishna. 假我的意思是忘记了 Krishna. We've forgotten our spiritual nature. 我们忘记了我们灵性的本性。Instead, we're thinking, I am the body. 取而代之的是，我们认为我们是这个躯体。And I have my senses, and I have to satisfy my senses. 我有我的感官，我得去享受我的感官。Hmm. So, understand the philosophy. You don't have to worry about the names. 你得去理解这个哲学是什么，不要太担心这些名字。Next question. Yes. Next question from Sati Manaji. 感谢姑姑的甜美讲课。现在听到很多身边的人进入到老年之之后，患上了老年痴呆症，出现很多无法控制自己言行的症状，甚至甚至出现好像被其他灵魂控制，或者看到精微灵魂的症状。早些年并没有听说这样大量的病症，这是什么原因造成的呢？呃。Thanks, Guru's wonderful class. Now I heard uh, many people, they are going to the old age. They get a uh, bad disease and they can't control their speaking. Um, it seems that they, they are controlled by the subtle, uh, some subtle souls or some other souls. And in the early age, we, we didn't hear about this kind of disease. So, I want to know why this happened. Who are these people who are controlled by subtle souls? Some old, some old elder people. They, they can't control their speaking, but but uh, oh. they control. Uh, yeah. Okay. So. Mm. Maybe at the time of death. Yes, yes. So the Yamadutas can come. The Yamadutas you... come to mm. take the old people away. Uh, good day. You mean the Yamaduta come and control this old? Yeah. When people, when pe we can't understand what the people are saying, old people. They're actually they're often it's the Yamadutas coming to take them away, and they start talking. They're afraid. They don't want to go with the Yamadutas, but they're afraid. Hmm. We can see that many old people, uh, in their death, these Yamadutas come, but this person still doesn't want to die. He sees these Yamadutas, he's very afraid. Hmm. 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 So these are the subtle souls, which come. 这个时候，呃，这些精微的灵魂就来了。It's quite common. 这是很普遍的。In the time of death, people become very afraid, very fearful. 在年在年迈的时候，在快死的时候，人们非常的害怕死。
So often it, the Yamadudas come to take them away. Um, but anybody who chants the holy name or who wears the Kuntimala Tosi neck beads around the neck, they should not have that problem. People who have taken shelter of the Supreme Lord, they, are free. they don't have to worry about going to Yamaraj. The servants of Lord Yamaraj are told never to go near the devotees of Lord. Okay. Okay. Next question from Saraswati Madaji. Hare Krishna, Dimbai Guru. Dimbai Fanyu Ha Chu Shi. Hare Krishna, basis to Guru Day. Uh, my first question is uh, when the Ajamila call his uh, little, little, little boy Narayana, he get a purified? The little boy? Yeah. Definitely. Uh, uh, she mean, she mean. Ordinary time, not at the, at the end of time. Ordinary time? When the other time he called Narayan's name, uh, he get purified? The little boy, yeah. 是的, 是的. Hearing the holy name, very purifying. Hearing the holy name purifies and it also can bring opulence also, can bestow all kinds of opulence on the hearer. Yes, can bring opulence. Everything can come from bhakti. You have to think, what do you want? What do you want to get from bhakti? Second, he want, uh, she asked, Jua Maharaj living in the, uh, Poland is the lost star? Dhruva Maharaj what? Dhruva Maharaj's uh, living place is the lost star? Yes. Yeah, he's been given that for a residence until the end of the lifetime of Brahma. Next question. Mm -hmm. Next question from Divya Shakti, David Nasi. Tulashi is the Mabian Chen Shuda, Shisha Gurde. How the Tushi become a tree? The, how did Tosi become a tree? Yes. Well, Tosi always had, she has that form to serve Krishna. This pastime is not really in our sampradaya, it's not really in our line. It's a Puranic story. Puranic. 
It's not something which Prabhupada wrote about. But there is a pastime there that she was a woman and she got cursed and she became, she would serve the Lord and she would take the form of the bush, take the form of the, the toasty tree. And her leaves, her manjaris, the flowers on the toasty tree, they would be the offering for the shaligram, for Lord Narayan in his form of shaligram. So I have not really read that whole pastime, so I can't really tell you everything about it. I tried to concentrate on reading Prabhupada's books. Prabhupada told us everything is in my books. Everything we need to know is in my books. So I don't find this pastime you're mentioning about Tosi, it's not in Prabhupada's books. So I can understand it's not very important for us. But we we understand Tosi is a pure devotee and she has the form of the tree because she can serve the Lord in that form. Just like in the spiritual world, there are also trees. The living entities take the form of trees in the spiritual world for giving service to the Supreme Lord. You may say, oh, I don't want to be a tree, but some living entities, they will take that service for the pleasure of Lord Krishna. Because trees produce flowers and fruits and they give shade, they do a lot of service. So some trees are very, very pious. And Tosi is also the most the most sacred, the most pious of all trees. And she's very dear to Lord Krishna. Next question from Chaitanya Lila. Obeisance to Guru. If some if some devotees have some subtle uh, ghost come, uh, when he chant the holy names, can overcome this thing? Yes. You just have to chant loudly and purely, without offense. If you're chanting the holy name, these things, these spirits will never come to you. Yeah. Yeah. Next question from Xi Lang. Uh some astron uh, astrologers said uh, when the devotee is leaving the body, the Lord Nishinhade will come to save him. What this is what this meaning meaning for? Means Lord Nishingadev will come and take you home back to Godhead. 
，这意味着主尼辛哈得把会把这个人带回守神，带回家园。Yeah, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, "I am the swift deliverer from the ocean of birth and death." Uh, Lord Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita says, "I am the swift deliverer from the ocean of birth and death." Uh, I am the swift deliverer from the ocean of birth and death. So Krishna comes, and he may come as Lord Nishingadev. He may come. In whatever form the devotee is attached to, the Lord may come and take him back to Godhead. 因此，主 Krishna 或许会以你辛哈德瓦的形象出现，或许以其他的形象，这这个奉献者所依附的这个形象出现，把这个奉献者带回首身，带回家园。嗯哼。下一个问题。Yeah. Hare Krishna. Okay. 对。嗯。呃，这喜拉。嗯，这位奉献者他后来又问了一句，他说：“又说这一世没有得到解脱，可能这是占星师说这一世没有得到解脱，好像他就是，他讲是，就是刚刚他不是问，就是说占星师说这个人，这个奉献者在离开躯体的时候，主尼星哈德瓦来来拯救他吗？但是又说他没有，他在这一世没有解脱。”如果罗尼辛格里来帮助他、帮助他，肯定解脱。怎么没有解脱？肯定解脱。罗尼辛格里来帮助、解帮助他、拯救他。嗯。所以说，这个占星师说的就有矛盾。他讲什么？他他告告诉我在什么情况？他讲什么人？我们没有听过一个人这样。是的，<笑>不知道具体的情况是什么。好，那我们呃往下进行吧，看看回头。Okay. 嗯。嗯 ，Next question from c h a i t a n y a Nila。嗯，如果精微躯体附体在非奉献者家人身上，打扰。让家人的心意、认知和行为异常，如何应对？会好转吗？如何向主祈祷 ？If the if the subtle, uh, some subtle ghost, uh, give give some disturb to the long devotees, long devotees family, uh, how to face this problem? Make them devotees. Get them all to chant the holy name. Let them sing the holy name. Blow the conch shells regularly. Blow this conch shell. 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 Regularly. How to pray to the Lord? How to pray to the Lord by chanting holy name, chanting Hare Krishna mantra. 如何向主祈祷呢？就唱诵主的圣名，唱诵 Hare Krishna mantra. The Maha Mantra is a both is a perfect prayer to offer to the Lord. 这个 Maha Mantra Maha Mantra 是最好的祈祷，最给予主的。The Lord is very attracted, very pleased when people will chant His holy name. When people chant the name of the Lord, the Lord is very pleased. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
our ringing the bell, they are ringing the bell, are the, are the same. So how to distinguish uh, the the species and all uh, all species as not not all species things. Everything which is in relation to Krishna is auspicious, and anything which is not in relation to Krishna is not auspicious. So when you ring the bell for the pleasure of Krishna, or to let Krishna know you're coming in the temple, then it's auspicious. But if you just ring the bell just for the sake of ringing the bell, that's not auspicious. If you just ring the bell for, for the sake of ringing the bell, for no purpose. Okay, okay. 如果你只是摇铃, 没, 只是摇, 为了摇铃而摇铃, 没有任何的目的的话, Next question from Hani Wamsa. Fungsendra可以看重神之神的电视剧吗? 可以结合经典起来看这部电视剧吗? 嗯。Does the devotees can, can watch the Goddess of the God TV series? There are many stories of the Bhagavatam, from the Bhagavatam, but, uh, and not from the Bhagavatam. It, uh, and uh, this, this series, it seems uh, uh, glorious the Lord Shiva. So can we watch this series uh, combine the sastras? Not recommended. <laughs> television. Nobody became a pure devotee watching television. Better you get a habit for reading and studying Prabhupada's books. And get the taste for chanting the holy name, having more kirtan. It's an important activity. You want to encourage your child that he regularly hears you chanting the holy name. You have a duty to show a nice example for your child. So watching television is not good. It'd be better to get rid of your television. You don't need a television in your home. You just need Madanga and Kartal, Harmonium. You just need nice books like Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavatam. Try to stay away from Maya. Maya. Televisions are Maya. Maya. Yes. Yes, finish. Oh, that's it. Finish the question. Yeah, no, question okay. finish. Okay. Okay, she's a good Okay, so thank all the devotees for question for their time for listening and asking questions. Thank 
Om Ganshiya Subhuti Rai, Ge Vaman Jin Thay De Phan Hi, Ganshiya Sati Chu Chu, Vaman Chu Phu Phong Shen Sa, Chang Song Bing Khoai La. Hare Krishna. Xie Xie Gu Dei De Jin Thay Jiang Ke. Hare Krishna. Shila Prabhupada Ki. Jai. Go back to Vrinda Ki. Jai.